What are the main sources of air pollution? Hello there. Today we're delving into a crucial topic that impacts us all, air pollution. From affecting climate change to our own health, it's important to understand the primary sources of this pervasive issue. Let's dive in. What is air pollution? Air pollution refers to the presence of substances in the air that are harmful to the health of humans and other living beings, or cause damage to the climate or to materials. There are many different types of air pollutants, such as particulate matter, nitrogen oxides, sulfur dioxide, and ozone. These pollutants are largely produced by human activities, although some can come from natural sources. What are the major sources of air pollution? There are several key contributors to air pollution, including 1. Fossil fuel combustion. This is the biggest source of air pollution globally. The burning of coal, oil, and gas for electricity, heat, and transportation releases a large amount of sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides, and particulate matter into the air. 2. Industry and manufacturing. Many industrial processes emit various pollutants. These can include chemical plants, metal processing units, and other manufacturing facilities. 3. Agriculture. While not as obvious, agriculture contributes significantly to air pollution. Ammonia from animal waste and fertilizers is a primary pollutant, as well as methane from livestock. 4. Waste management. Waste treatment and disposal, including landfill operations and waste treatment plants, can generate methane and other harmful gases. 5. Residential cooking and heating. In many parts of the world, solid fuels like wood, charcoal, coal, dung, or crop residues are used for cooking and heating, leading to indoor air pollution. 6. Vehicular emissions. Cars, trucks, and two-wheelers emit a significant amount of carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons, lead, and nitrogen oxides, contributing to urban air pollution. What about natural sources? Yes, natural sources also contribute to air pollution. These include wildfires, which produce smoke containing particulate matter, carbon monoxide, and other pollutants. Volcanic eruptions can release sulfur dioxide and other gases. Dust from deserts can also become a form of air pollution when it is carried by wind into inhabited areas. And that's a wrap. Understanding the sources of air pollution helps us identify the most effective strategies for mitigation. Remember, each action we take towards reducing air pollution, from minimizing car use to advocating for cleaner industry practices, makes a significant difference. Let's strive for cleaner air, for ourselves and future generations.